Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be inspecting the Blackburn Rovers squads, finances and overall setup in the brand new squeaky clean Football Manager 2018. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. If you're wondering what I look like, I've been compared to this fella. If you don't believe me, that gives you much more reason to subscribe. As in amongst other things, I pretty much always show my face, just not on these videos as one, it's pretty late, and B, I'm not wearing too much of my face and hair is a bit all over the place. But anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's jump straight in with the start of this video. So first and foremost, obviously I'm a Blackburn Rovers channel, a Blackburn Rovers fan, so I'm going to have to check out Blackburn Rovers. So here we are, this is the main home screen for if you do decide to check out Blackburn Rovers as the team you are managed. Obviously if you're a Rovers fan, you're more than likely going to do so. Um, and this is the main screen, uh, otherwise known as the home screen. So let's jump in a little bit deeper and obviously first and foremost, we want to check out, see how much money we got to play with. Uh, transfer budget for me. Uh, must be uh, similar for everybody. £350,000. Uh, you can make some uh, changes to that. And it's got 250000 or £205,000 for your wages. Um, but you can adjust these budgets with a little toggle bar here. You can increase it all the way as up as much as £2.7 million, which would then restrict your wage down to £250,000. Eight thousand uh, pounds a week, but I'm going to leave it as is. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's take a look at the under 18s. Uh, here they are. Let's just rejig them around a bit. Two two goalkeepers on the books. I remember those two coming through. Uh, they were signed after some sort of goalkeeping camp at uh, Ewood. Uh, Jack Evans in there, hot prospect, 16 years old. Um, he's one for the future. We've got, we got Canadian in there, Ben Patton, and this Aussie. Lewis Cooey. But this fella here, Kyle Connell, remember big old hoopla going on about this fella coming through. He's actually signed from um, Motherwell. Um, uh, he was touted for, by some championship and Premier League clubs, but decided to go for Blackburn Rovers. So fair play to the lad. Hopefully he will make the grade in about three to five years, give or take. Um, but yeah, good bunch of boys. Um, youngest fella. Is Carl Connell 15? Tallest fella in the camp is Ben Whittenbottom, 6.2 feet. That's not bad for a 15 uh, year old. Let's take a look at the under 23s now. Again, let's rejig this. Andy Fisher, one for the future, has been, he's been uh, featuring in the Checker Trade Cup. A couple other hot prospects Joe Ron Rankin Costello, 17 years old. He's one for the uh, one for the future. Hopefully, he might get a game or two this season, as uh, it is a long, long and uh, painful season. So, hopefully, he he will get make make do with any opportunities that come his way. Uh, not bad stats um, for a youngster, ranked at three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. In fact, let's take a gander at our most expensive under twenty-three player. It is, in fact. If you take Liam Feeney at the equation, it is Joe Rankin Costello, three hundred seventy-five thousand pounds. William Tomlinson second, two seventy-five. Andy Fisher, one sixty-five. A lot of wanted here. A lot of these players seem to be wanted by lower league clubs. Maybe send them out for a season on loan. Uh, how about the big boys? Let's take a look at the main squad. We'll take a look at this info in just a second. Let's rejig it. David Raya. Jason Lautweiler, two goalkeepers. Uh, it is bang up to date. Current stuff. Raheem Harper is there on loan. Harry Chapman's there on loan. What does this HGN stand for? Homegrown. Homegrown player from uh, from England. Even the Nut is in there. Joe Nuttall in the first team. Let's take a look at the most valuable player on the Rovers books. Darrell Lenehan, 3.9 million. And I'm not sure what ridiculous amount Sheffield United were quoted, but... There you go, folks. 3.9 million. If you want him in January, you're gonna to have to stump up a little bit more than that. We know we all know how these transfer deals pan out. You've got to pay over the odds. Corey Evans 3.8, Mulgrew 3.7, Bradley Dak 3.1, Elliot Bennett 3.1, and a whole host of other folks in there. Uh, Elliot Ward 225. One area that you probably want to keep an eye out is the contract situation. Obviously, the low knees. 
um, didn't want to click that. Their, their contracts end um, in May. But look at this, Elliot Ward. See ya! Uh, Danny Graham, I would be inclined to let him go. 12 grand a week. League one is pretty steep. Conway still has a little bit left to offer, but could be also on his way out. Not all. If he uh, if he does take his opportunity and, and rides with it, I guess we would like to extend that one more season. This is the one that concerns me. David Raya, clearly our number one goalkeeper at the moment. Not bad wages, free grand. We need to bump that bad boy up, especially if he has a has a promotion winning season on his books. Um, but what else can we go to? Let's go to the board here. Like I said, the transfer way, uh, transfer target set as this. Quick scan through the business. Um, I am I am returning to the game after a 10-year absence, so I am still learning a lot of the um, a lot of the key aspects of this game. Look at this. Fenke is full in control here. Got people all over the place. What else? Club. We, we all know about the history of the club. Let's have a little look. There it is. Three Premier Division titles. I guess that's uh, that's classified as tier one titles. Um, news. Yep. Unfortunately, my inclusion into the as manager has left Mowbray unemployed. A uh, quick scan of some key icons. Matt Jansen, he's in the game. Chorley Gaffer, other players, and familiar faces. Um, so look at the staff. If you want to take a closer look, here they are. In fact, we could probably check them all out. Here they all are. A whole squad of a whole squad of staff, to be honest with you. Again, you've got to keep an eye out on, on their contracts. David Dunn's contract seems to be up at the end of the season. Mark Venus also. So I don't know if you want to keep them in there or get your own people. Team report. Um, quick scan through those. You can check it out for yourselves. Just pause the, the screen and have a good old read. Squad depth. This is what I want to check out myself. Shows you what players we have in what positions, what areas we are weak on. Obviously, it looks like right-hand side of defense is an area we could improve on. Um, even our strikers, to be fair, is pretty weak. Dominic, Dominic Samuel, Danny Graham, three and a half stars. And then we are scrapping for others. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. What else can we show you here? Here's a quick look at the hierarchy. Conway and Mulgrew, team leaders. So they are potential captains. Uh, Graham and Corey Evans could be even considered as skippers as well. I think this is a new feature, social groups. Up here is a core cool social group. Conway, Mulgrew, Graham, Evans, Bennett, Cadis, Ward, Wharton, Nyimbi and Nuttall. Uh, this group is made up of players who have been at the club for roughly the same amount of time and share the similar levels of professionalism. So these are the boys that uh, people are going to go to, um, to, 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 you know, as mentors and that kind of thing. Uh, overall happiness, quick scan through. Pretty average, pretty fair, you know, average is, is fairly good. A couple of little sour pusses here. Darren Lennon, obviously fairly poor with an injury. Uh, Derek Williams, also fairly poor. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure why he's fairly poor. Um... But yeah, so it, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, each each game is completely different. You might uh, you might be successful as a Rovers as a Rovers manager. Obviously, with the the the, the team that we have, you're going to be likely to be pushing for promotion. So might as well give it a crack. Um, as for me, not sure yet. I'll give it a go. That's pretty much it. All I have for you. If there is something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team next over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there someplace around the world you want me to do an overview, please scroll it down in the comments and I'll try and do it for you. Moving forward, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 calms down, I do plan to do some game saves. and I have a few epic ones in the pipeline, so be sure to stick around. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. 
As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.